Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk you through and do like an in-depth tutorial on how I cream and highlight contour. Because I am such a full coverage gal, I love cream contour. But because it's like, it consists of foundation and creams and everything, I wouldn't necessarily do it every day because it is a lot of product on the face. So I would normally just do it whenever I'm going out for the weekend or a special occasion. So what I'm going to be using is the Iconic London Multi-Use Contouring Set. Iconic London was actually very kind to send me some products and this is along with it. So as you can see here, these are the contour shades. So these are obviously going to contour and define and sculpt. And these are your highlighting shades, which you're obviously going to highlight and correct. So whenever I start off to do cream contour, I do like to start off with obviously a foundation and I don't powder or anything. I would usually tend to go for a more sheer to medium coverage foundation just because I find that the cream contours themselves also have some coverage in them. So to highlight, I'm just going to be using this lighter shade here and I'm going to be taking this on a Spectrum A18 brush. So whenever you're highlighting underneath your eyes, you kind of want to go for one or two shades lighter than your actual foundation. What I'm doing is I'm just drawing a line down the side of my nose and then just underneath the eye. And I'm just bringing it out. And I don't really bring it out any further than the tail of my eyebrow. And then I just, not taking any more product, I just drag that down. Because we're going to be highlighting the under eyes, we kind of want to balance our face out. So we're obviously wanting to highlight the just the center points of our face, basically. So this is one thing I've noticed about this um, contour palette. I actually haven't took I haven't took any more product onto my brush, so a little goes a long way. So I just take the tiniest wee bit down my nose as well and then I just kind of spread out on the tip because I like to have the illusion of like a point in your nose. Then I'm just going to go and blend that out. So in my opinion the best way to blend out a highlight, concealer, whatever is a damp beauty sponge. This is a beauty blender but I really like the Real Techniques beauty sponge. Just kind of stamp the product in. I like to start at the outer corners and I start to blend them. As we're obviously wanting to highlight the under eyes, I don't like to start blending from in here because you're obviously wanting these inner areas to be the brightest. So I'm not just going to start blending and buffing the inner area out so then it gradually gets lighter and lighter. So I'm wanting to gradually to get lighter this way instead of this way. So I'm just going to buff the edges out so that they're nice and seamless and I kind of like to bring that down underneath my nose because that's where I would kind of get a lot of redness and just along my top lip so as you can see you can kind of start to see what I'm talking about more um, and then I will gradually go in and I will blend that out. It just means that like in here is really so, is so much brighter because that's the whole idea. I don't tend to blend my highlight right out to here if, but if you're going to highlight and take your highlighter or your concealer out to here or blend it out to here you're going to give yourself the illusion of having a wider face so you are so I don't necessarily want a wider face because I find that I really have a big face <laughs> so I'm not going to give myself a bigger one it can also give the illusion of a more lifted face if you want to bring your contour up a wee bit higher but I just kind of like to keep my highlight on the, just on these areas here. So I like to kind of stop here and then I will contour these areas here. So I'm actually just going to go back into the palette and I'm just going to dab the Beauty Blender in that lightest shade there. Just to build that up a wee bit more. But the one thing I do love about a Beauty Blender or a Beauty Sponge, because it is damp, if you put on too much product because it is damp it is going to soak up the excess with a beauty blender or a beauty sponge you're not rubbing or dragging so you are automatically doing this so you're actually pressing the product into your skin then for contour I'm going to be taking this shade here it's, <laughs> it's kind of noticeable about the two shades that I have been using so whenever you're going to go in and contour your cheekbones you kind of want to just follow the natural draw hollows and the natural contour in your cheeks so where I would usually do it would be I wouldn't necessarily come to my tragus area which most people would have pierced but I kind of like to go up toward the top of my ear and come down 
so that's just where I'm going to do that line and I don't like to check it in I kind of like to check it into like kind of in where my tear dot would be right down to about here so then once I come down to there I kind of flick so that is kind of given the illusion of a look <laughs> not that I want to look like that all the time but it's just given the illusion of a more lifted face and cheekbones once I have that done I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to drag up the product with what I have left on my brush I'm not going to drag down because that's obviously going to defeat the purpose of contouring all together so I also like to contour my forehead but as I was saying about highlighting all the places on your face I also like to contour all the places on my face that's necessary as well um, just to balance out my face um, I don't necessarily think I have like a big forehead or anything um, but I just do it anyway so I like to just dot around the temples and just around the hairline so I'm not actually going to join these up, these at the sides. So then I'm just going to leave my nose because I don't actually like contouring my nose with a cream product. I would rather contour my nose with a powder product. So and because I think it, I'm not that good at it. <laughs> if you're a beginner or anything like that, powder is it's just so much more forgiving than a than a cream. And it just looks more natural. So to blend up my cream contour, I love using these brushes. So these brushes are known as stippling brushes or a duo fibre brush. I think so. If I'm wrong, I'm going to punch myself. Reason being, if you take a look at these brushes, obviously this one is more dense than this one. But we'll just take, yeah, we'll just take this one for example. So you obviously have your bristles tightly packed up until here and then you have other bristles no it's just really hard to explain if you know what I mean like they're just different sizes of bristles all packed into the one brush so the reason I like blending out my cream contour with these brushes is because while you are a buffing with these brushes in between because of the different sizes of the bristles within the brush as you are buffing air is getting trapped in to the brush as you are buffing and it gives that airbrush effect so hence why I like using these brushes so I just find that it just gives an absolutely perfect airbrushed photoshopped beautiful look so the difference with these brushes is this is just a wee one from eBay it does the job and this one is a Moda M11 brush. I got this from iMats. I'm not too sure where you would purchase this. I'm at, I'll take a wee look and I'll look it down below. But this one is more densely packed as you can see whereas this one is more loose and free. I'm going to take this one just to blend out my cheek contour. So whenever I'm actually blending out my contour also I kind of like to hold the brush at the tip. I don't look, I don't go in like this. This this drives me insane. It, I, don't, I don't know, it's just a pet hate. And I find that you can go a wee bit heavy handed and you're just being too rough and you're just being like, ah, you know, whereas you're doing this, it's it looks more professional and you're just you're just softer on your skin as well. But I'm just going to be doing circular motions, just up and down along my hairline, and then slowly coming in and blending that cheek contour. You kind of want to just blend up and out if you know what I mean because you're definitely not wanting to blend like down or anything because I, as I said previously that's completely defeating the purpose of contour. Then I'm going into the more dense brush and I'm just going to pat that contour but I'm just going to be stippling the product in And then I'm just going to go lightly in and just diffuse that out. And then I'm going to turn my brush onto its side and just slightly bring that down. Just so it looks more diffused and more put together and just more airbrushed and just more natural.
that is done I'm just going to take the beauty blender again and I'm just going to go around the highlighter areas and I'm just going to blend it in once again just to kind of make all the products like diffuse together. So I did go off camera and I completed my look. Um, if anybody wants me to do like a more in-depth tutorial on um, on how I powder contour or how I do my cream contour and then finish off with powder and highlight or like a foundation routine or just anything like that, like a more updated one, please let me know in the comments below and I will be happy to do that. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and I just want to say a big thank you so so much to Iconic London for sending me the products. Make sure to follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. I will have that all linked down below. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video and I will see you all in my next one.